you. <clears throat> Please, have a seat. I come to Israel with a single message. You're not alone. You are not alone. As long as the United States stands and we will stand forever, we will not let you ever be alone. Most importantly, the, uh, I know the was for peace, for peace, gunned down as they ran for their lives. Scores of innocents, from infants to elderly grandparents, must protect their kibbutz, opening their homes to shelter survivors. Retired soldiers running into danger once again, civilian medics flying across rescue, flying rescue missions, and off-duty medics at the music festival caring for the wounded before becoming a victim, before becoming a victim itself. Volunteers retrieving bodies of the dead so families could bury their loved ones in accordance with Jewish tradition. I come to Israel with a single message. You're not alone. You are not alone. As long as the United States stands and we will stand forever, we'll not let you ever be alone. Most importantly, the, uh, I know the recent terrorist assault on the people of this nation has left a deep, deep wound. More than 1,300 innocent Israelis killed, including at least 31 American citizens by the terrorist group Hamas. Hundreds, hundreds of young people at a music festival the festival was for peace, for peace, gunned down as they ran for their lives. Scores of innocents, from infants to elderly grandparents, Israelis and Americans, taken hostage. Children slaughtered, babies slaughtered, entire families massacred. Rape, beheadings, bodies burned alive. Hamas committed atrocities that recall the worst ravages of ISIS unleashing pure, unadulterated evil upon the world. There's no rationalizing it, no excusing it, period. October 7th, which was sacred to a sacred Jewish holiday, became the deadliest day for the Jewish people since the Holocaust. It has brought to the surface painful memories and scars left by millennia of anti-Semitism and the genocide of the Jewish people. The world watched then. It knew. And the world did nothing. We will not stand by and do nothing again. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. To those who are living in limbo, waiting desperately to learn the fate of a loved one, especially to families of the hostages, you're not alone. We're working with partners throughout the region, pursuing every avenue to bring home those who are being held captive by Hamas. I can't speak publicly about all the details, but let me assure you, for me, as the American president, there's no higher priority than the release and safe return of all these hostages. The vast majority of Palestinians are not Hamas. Hamas does not represent the Palestinian people. Hamas uses innocents, innocent families in Gaza as human shields, putting their command centers, their weapons, their communications tunnels in residential areas. Palestinian people are suffering greatly as well. We mourn the loss of innocent Palestinian lives like the entire world. I was outraged and saddened by the enormous loss of life yesterday in the hospital in Gaza. Based on the information we've seen to date, it appears the result of an errant rocket fired by a terrorist group in Gaza. The United States unequivocally stands for the protection of civilian life during conflict. And I grieve, I truly grieve for the families who were killed or wounded by this tragedy. The people of Gaza need food, water, medicine.